please welcome James Edwards, also a chair in the School of Applied Computer Science and IT. James, take it away. Thank you very much, Janet, and hello to everybody today. Thank you for taking some time to uh, for us to have a great chat today about uh, some of the wonderful programs we have. As my fellow chair, uh, Russ Fuber has mentioned, we have a lot of wonderful programs. And as our dean has mentioned, we're located in, in the heart of Silicon Valley North, where some of the largest software companies in the world exist today. What I'd like to do today is just show you some of the other programs we have in a more uh, grouped uh, explanation so that you can find your particular fit. Um, many of the programs we offer here in the School of Applied Computer Science and IT are based around the idea of computer programming. We all know that people code, people write programs, we get programs on our laptops, uh, we get programs on our phones, we see programs on the web. All of that relies on computer programming. So we have a number of programs that you may be interested in. We have two and three year programs in computer programming or computer programming and analysis, where you learn to program, you learn to code, Java, C Sharp, all sorts of magical stuff. Uh, IT innovation and design is also a three year program with us, but in your close to the end of your second year to your third year, you're going to embrace more creative ideas, more entrepreneurial ideas. You're going to say, I like the program, but I like to go my own path. I like to build really cool things. And that's what IT ID will do for you. Uh, if you already have a degree, if you already have another credential, such as an advanced uh, diploma, we offer an eight month program called Computer Application Developer. Now, what's really cool about this program is that it's built for people who want to learn how to program but already have a credential. So you're focused, you're head first straight into, I'm going into this program with the objective of being a computer programmer when I graduate. So wonderful way of quickly getting the skills focused just on computer science for those of you who already have an education to rely upon. Um, and this is really cool and it's very unique. If you really like iPhones, you really like the web, you really like those technologies, we have this awesome program called Mobile Solutions Developer. And, and it's a 16 month graduate diploma, one of the only ones you're gonna find in, in well, all of Ontario, to be quite honest with you. And it is focused specifically on those skills you're going to need to build mobile solutions, whether it be on a phone, whether it be on a website, et cetera, et cetera. So some amazing opportunities uh, for you to embrace programming and also pick your area, whether you want to be a strictly a programmer, you're, you're already doing something in your life and you want to add programming or whether you want to focus on uh, mobile solutions specifically. So that, that's a quick sweep through our uh, computer programming. And then we're gonna move on to the next slide because there's more to the IT world. As Russ has mentioned, there's lots of facets to the, the, uh, the computing world. And if programming is, is not quite what you like, but you really like to work with systems, you really like to work with computers, you like to see how things work from a software perspective, like email, how's an email server built, things like that. We have these amazing programs in computer systems as well. We have a computer systems technician program, a two-year program. You're going to learn a lot about Windows and Linux and routers and switches and how things work. You get to build things. So if you're a hands-on person and you want to make things go, computer systems is the right program for you. Um, if you already have a credential, as Russ has mentioned, but you want to get some hands-on experience with some of the hardware and software, we have an amazing data center filled with routers and switches and servers that uh, you can play you play with. We, we call it play because we enjoy it so much, but what you can learn on, and it's called IT infrastructure. That's an eight month focused program for people that have learned a lot of theory of computing, but need to pair that up with some practical experience for employability. Similarly, if you have some of that experience, and one of the questions in the chat asked exactly about this, do you have programs about security that are more IT central? We do, we have an amazing program called IT Network Security. That's where you do things like work on firewalls, right? And figure out how these, these hackers attack you and set up systems so that they can't get through. So you, you're gonna be like the protector of the network. And this is IT Network Security, amazing program. Um, and lastly, 
I, I'm I'm going to give uh, the folks that have joined us on the, today's call uh, a, a little treat here because we're going to be offering a virtualization and oh uh, my apologies I have a typo there virtualization and cloud computing specialist uh, that's an eight month program we've all heard about the cloud we've all heard about I have a virtual th something and you're wondering how does that work how how do the technologies work companies are hiring people that know about the cloud but uh, you know, uh, how, do, how do I get skills? How do I become the person that can help that company go to the cloud or work with the cloud? Well, we're going to be able to help you coming in May. So exciting new news about a brand new program that not many people offer in Canada, quite honestly. We've talked about computer programming and we've also talked about computer systems. So whether you like to write programs or whether you like to work with hardware and systems and plug things in. But in the many fields of computer science and IT, there's also data. We know this every day. We're hearing more and more information, whether it's Google information or uh, Amazon has your information, Alexa, or reporting. Let's face it, companies around the world work on information. That's how they make their decisions. Well, we have uh, multiple programs, one currently being offered and two more. Again, as our guests, you get a, a special sneak peek at the future here today. Uh, we have big data solutions architecture. Data is larger, it's getting bigger. More and more data is going into the system. Well, with large data and big data and huge, we call, it, we call some things data lakes. They're so big and they're so full of data. Um, you need to figure out how to work with that. And employers want help figuring out how to pull data, pull data out of that to make information, to figure out what they're going to do next. Well, that's called Big Data. We have a program here called Big Data Solutions Architecture. It's a graduate certificate, and it's here to help you get those employable skills working with big data and developing ways of presenting that data to your employer. We also have, again, uh, I'm happy to share, this is like bonus day today because we're telling you about all really new things coming down the pipe here. We have a reporting solutions developer. Let's say you're strong in computing and you're strong in programming or you have some interest in that area, but you've not worked a lot with data, basics of data. You wanna learn, learn how a database system works. You wanna learn how a reporting system works. You wanna figure out what a dashboard is, if you've heard that term before. Well, we have a new program coming out called Reporting Solutions Developer that's gonna help you work in spaces such as Oracle and Microsoft SQL Server and all these other technologies that are uh, present here today that make the world run. In fact, most applications and most large systems have a database somewhere in there. Even the, many of the websites and e-commerce sites have a database involved. So this will get you the skills there, grad cert. And then we have a, a new program launching called Digital Solutions Management. This is unique. It's a 12 month program. It's a graduate certificate. And, and the skills learned here are, I understand technology, but I wanna be a leader. I wanna be somebody who leads technology in an organization. So we're going to give you the additional skills to say, I know how to do this in, in computing or in IT, but how do I make decisions? How do I decide which program's right for me? What are the different options available to me? How do I work with people in a digital world? That's what this program's all about. And it's built on giving you uh, the skills necessary to lead IT and computer science in a digital world today. So I've gone rather quickly and I've covered many, many programs here uh, throughout, but we wanted to share a couple of quick pictures I think are coming up next here. Let's take a little click here. Yeah, one of the really cool things, really cool, we're, we're super proud of it, Russ and I, is that when you do a what we call a capstone project, so this is kind of like your final project of your fourth or sixth semester with us, um, or the end of your graduate certificate, we pair you up with real employers in the region who have a real challenge. They're saying, I, 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 I need an application that does this, or I need a solution that does that. And so what you see in front of you are a couple of uh, quick applications that people have built. Uh, on the left, they're talking about an IoT provider in the water, Waterloo region. And on the right, uh, it, this is kind of a, a hide and seek program that someone's written where you're trying to find hidden objects using uh, augmented reality. 
all written by students of our program. Amazing. And every every semester, and of course this was uh, pre-COVID, but we're still doing something similar in COVID virtually. But uh, every capstone semester, we get students together, and and we have we have a showcase, and we show the amazing amazing capstone projects that the, the students have done for us. And if we go to the, the next slide, what we do is for all these, you know, almost hundred projects here that happen, uh, we bring everybody together and have this massive showcase. And, and I, we wanted to share this uh, picture with you because we're here for you. We, we, we treat every student as family, we're all together in this. And, and we'd love for you to join us here uh, to uh, come be part of our uh, academic learning community. 